Hello everyone and welcome back to Salesforce FAQs. So today in this video, we are going to talk about the dynamic forms in Salesforce. So if you are looking to customize your record pages and improve the user experience, then dynamic forms are going to help you a lot in that. So with dynamic forms, you can add and customize field on the record form according to your requirements. So let's get started and see what are the dynamic forms in Salesforce and how you can set up one. And before starting that, I would like to show you our newly launched Salesforce admin course. So I will just take few seconds for that and let me show you the course content first. So this is our newly launched Salesforce admin course. And I will also mention the course link in the description from where you can access and view the course. So we have designed this course specifically for the beginners and the people who want to learn the admin part. So in this course, you are going to get more than 50 hours of video content, including PDFs and solution. And for this course, we have covered every module in depth. You can see these are the modules that we have covered in this course. That is introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. So in the modules, you can see the table of content so that you will have an idea what are the topics that we have covered in this admin course. And we have covered this course in 10 modules. So it will take you around two to three months to complete this whole course. And when it comes to the pricing, we have kept it $199 for the lifetime access. So once you purchase this course, you are going to get lifetime access for this course. So this was all about the course and now let's move back to the topic. So before starting the setup of dynamic forms, I would first like to tell what are the dynamic forms in Salesforce and what are the use cases of these forms. So in Salesforce, with the help of dynamic forms, you can customize page layouts to display fields and section based on certain criteria like user profile record types or field values and using the dynamic form you will have full controls over what the user will see like using the dynamic form you can apply the condition visibility on the field as well as on the section so it will improve the efficiency and reduce the clutter of data on the page so previously we used to have static page layouts in salesforce and after the release of 2022 we are having the feature of dynamic forms so with dynamic forms, you can directly add field to the record page and hide them depending on the user context. And you can do it all without modifying the underlying page layout itself. So what you are going to learn by the end of this video. So first I'm going to show you how to set up dynamic forms. And then I will show you how you can add fields and add conditional visibility to the fields. And after this, we will add conditional visibility to the components in which the component will include multiple fields. And at last, I will also show you how you can add a highlight panel in the form. So in the highlight panel, you can basically see the fields that, that you want to track more often. So let's get started and move to the developer console. So as of now, I logged into my Salesforce developer account. So in this example, I'm going to show you how you can enable the dynamic forms for the opportunity object. And before the 2022 release, the dynamic forms were available for the custom objects only. And after that, it is available for the standard object as well. So I'm going to take the opportunity object for that. So here I will click on the app launcher and from here I will navigate to the opportunity object and here we need to open any of the opportunity records so I will open this one. So to enable the dynamic forms we have to first click on the gear icon and here you will see the option edit page. So as we click on the edit page the record page will open in lightning app builder. So as you click on the detail section, so on the right hand side of the window, you will see a message that you can upgrade to the dynamic forms where you can add fields and section to the page directly. So as of now on the screen, you can see the detail content from the page layout. So these are the details in the record page that are retrieved from the page layout of the opportunity object. So the problem with this traditional page layout or the form is that when you try to add any of the fields in the page layout, you won't be able to do that. So let me show you that I will add this account name so you will see it is showing the restriction that we can't add this field so to solve this issue we are having dynamic forms so to enable the dynamic forms you have to first simply click on this button upgrade now and here you have to click on the checkbox escape this next time and click next and now you have to select the page layout for which you want to activate the dynamic form so i will select the page layout the default one opportunity layout and above this you will also see a message that you can also enable the migration of fields and section into a accordion component so if you are having more fields on a record page then you should enable this migration settings so that you can have better page performance so after selecting the page layout we will click on the finish button and now you can see the ui is changed a little bit and here it is showing two columns so you can also make it one column 
so you have to simply click on the one column that so will display the records in one column so now i'm going to show you how you can add fields to the dynamic form so for that you have to go to the fields from the fields you can drag and drop the field to the flow canvas so for example i have a field in this opportunity object that is satisfaction rating so here is the field satisfaction rating so i will drag and drop it to the page layout so now the field is added to the form and let me show you how you can add component visibility in this field so for that you have to click the field and here you will see the option set field visibility so here click on add filter and here you need to define the conditions so i only want to see this field when the opportunity stage is selected as closed one so for that i will define the filter according to that so the field is so for that field will be stage name here the field will be stage and operator equals to closed one so here i will select the value as closed one and then click on the done button so now you will see an i icon over here so that means you have applied the conditional visibility and you can also apply conditional visibility to the whole component for example this can be considered as a component and you can see there is an option to add component visibility to this and when we select the field you will see the field visibility over here so to add the component visibility i will first add a field section in which i am going to add some fields so here i will add the field section so in this section i am going to add two custom fields that i have in my opportunity object so those fields were reason to loss and lost to competitor so these are the two custom fields that i am having in my opportunity object so here i will apply conditional visibility to this section and also you can define the custom label for the section that you have created so i'm going to label this section as opportunity lost and now i'm going to apply conditional visibility on this section so for that i will select the section and you will see the option set component visibility so i will add filter on this so the criteria i'm going to define for this component is when the opportunity stage is selected as a closed loss then only this section will be visible so i'm going to apply the filters according to that so the field here will be stage name again and the operator will be so the value will be closed lost and now we will click on the done button so you can see the component visibility is applied on this section or you can say this component so like this you can add multiple fields to the dynamic forms and apply conditional visibility to the fields and components as well so one more thing that you can do in the dynamic forms that you can add a highlight panel in the dynamic form so in the highlight panels you can keep the fields that you want to track more often so for that you have to go to the fields and here search and select highlight panel so here you will see the field component dynamic highlight panel so you have to drag and drop it to the form region and similarly you can drag and drop the fields to the highlight panel also so for that i will add the fields approval received amount so this is how you can add a highlight panel in the dynamic forms and in the dynamic form you can also add action like you can see the buttons over here so in the same way uh, you can add buttons in this highlight panel also so this was also a highlight panel that you can see over here but but in this you cannot add any of the fields so this is the custom highlight panel that we have created right now and in this we can add buttons so for that click on add action and from here you can search and select the label so i will select the change owner and for the action visibility you can add the filters or you can add it without applying the filters also so for this action i am going to apply the filter is the amount should be greater than 1000 and then click on the done button so now you can see this action is created over here in the highlights panel so at last click on the save button to apply the changes as we click save the changes will be applied so now your opportunity page record will become a dynamic record form so here you can see these are the changes that we have applied so this is how you can set up and create dynamic forms in salesforce and one more thing that i would like to tell you here how you can enable the dynamic forms for the mobile application so for that you have to go to the setup and in the quick find box you have to search salesforce mobile app and in the setup of salesforce mobile app you will see the option dynamic forms and dynamic highlights panel on mobile so you have to simply enable this slider button to enable the dynamic forms for the mobile application so this was all about the dynamic forms in salesforce like how you can set up a dynamic forms add fields through the forms with the conditional visibility 
and we have also learned how you can add sections to the dynamic forms with the conditional visibility and at last i have also explained how you can add a custom highlight panel in the salesforce dynamic forms so this was all about it and i hope that you have understood whatever i explained in the video and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye